Oh, but Liz Truss, in the last hour, has just made her maiden speech as Prime Minister from outside Downing Street, where she outlined, at least a little bit, of her vision for Britain and pledged to help families with the cost of living crisis. There's a little bit more for us to get stuck into as well. Let's go to Conservative MP for Ipswich, Tom Hunt, to get his reaction. Tom, thank you very much. It's been a rather long day. It certainly looks like it's been a rather long day on College Green as well. Liz Truss outlining certain things, no mention of immigration. What did you make initially of the first outing for our new Prime Minister? Well, Patrick, you know how much I care about immigration as an issue and you know how vocal I've been on that mm. issue. It's one of the reasons I supported Liz Truss over the issue was because I thought she was more likely to do what was necessary to deal with illegal immigration. So I, I'm, I'm reassured um, on that based on other discussions I've had with her. It was a, it was a short, to the point speech outside Downing Street. Uh, and I'm sure she'll be getting on the job straight away. Um, I'm pleased she won the contest, but you know she's going to be hard at work right now, and it's a big job to do. OK, Tom, look, talk to me about this cabinet, because it is absolutely vital at the moment, with all of the different problems or issues facing this country, that Liz Truss gets her picks right. She shuffles her deck and she shuffles them correctly. We're hearing quasi quatem potentially for Chancellor. We're hearing potentially Suella Braverman for uh, Home Secretary. Who are you hearing? Come on, give me the inside scoop. I, 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 you know, to be, honest with, to be perfectly honest with you, Patrick, if I had loads of hit, hidden gems and hidden intelligence, I probably wouldn't be telling you now. But, but, but for what it's worth, I don't actually have any inside channels or any inside intelligence. Um, all I know is what you know, which is what's been in the media. Uh, and I have to say, I mean, some of the names I've seen uh, suggested, um, I am reassured by. I mean, Suella Braveman, for example, I mean, she's been connected with a Home Secretary job. I mean, I, know, I, mean, I mean, in terms of the leadership can candidates, I think Suella was the one who took the most robust view on tackling illegal immigration. So certainly that is reassuring, and that would be reassuring to many GB News viewers. Um, Kwasi, always had a lot of time for him. You know, I've spent some, had the opportunity to spend time with him before. I think he was a good business energy secretary. You know, he's a low-tax conservative, which is very reassuring. So, you know, and you know my views on Kemi Bader not, because, uh, you know, I think she's, she's also marvellous, so I'd love to see Kemi Bader not have a role in the Cabinet. But I know I trust Liz Judge, I, I trust Liz's judgment. Uh, she's got good judgment, uh, and I'm, I'm sure she'll get the right people in the right places. Well, well, so does the British public, frankly, it must be said as well. There is still a lot of love going around for uh, Boris Johnson, but Liz Truss, of course, I suppose maybe stands as in good stead on the world stage, spent a lot of time as foreign secretary, struck up a huge amount of trade deals. I mean, I remember when we said that, that Mars rover up there, I was expecting it to be greeted by Liz Truss for a second with some form of trade deal. So potentially she could be good, you're hoping domestically, but also on the international stage as well. Well, I mean, she, was, she did a great job as International Trade Secretary. She, she wasted no time at all in securing a huge number of trade, deal, trade deals and trade agreements that the doom-mongers said weren't possible once Britain left the European Union. She did it. She proved it could be done. Um, I think she comes across very, states, uh, very much as a statesperson. I think she's going to be strong in the world stage, robust. You know, and she's a patriot. She believes in this country. She's unapologetically pro-Britain. And, pro and she thinks Britain's the greatest country in the world. And I know that's the case. And you know that's the case, Patrick. And most GB News viewers think we're the greatest country in the world. We just need to start showing it every single day. Uh, and on the world stage, I think she'll be just as good as she'll be domestically.